Dave Davies, Pack Leader Dog Adventures, talking about the recall. A lot of people teach their dogs to sit stay and then do a recall from the sit stay and that's absolutely fine, I'm not saying don't do it, but recalls should really be exactly that, calling your dog back from any distraction. There isn't really in my view such a thing as a recall problem, it's not a recall problem, it's the dog being over attracted to something else. So to make yourself, to give yourself the added advantage of making yourself super interesting to your dog, I like to, to start recalls off with somebody else holding the dog. And then I can really work on getting the dog to want to come to me. And this is how I usually work at it. Hey, Lily! See over here, we've got Lily. I mean nothing to Lily. Lily doesn't really know me at all. A little bit of time fussing her before, but we know she likes a ball. Hey, Lily! What have I got here? In a second I'm going to call her. I'll put my left hand up when I want her to come. Lily! Lily! Come! Come on Lily! Come on Lily! Good girl! I've got the lead. I can get hold of Lily now with the long lead and I can make a great fuss of her for coming to me. And of course she's only come to me because I've been interested and I've got the ball. But by doing that several times and by building a repeatable pattern of behaviour we will teach Lily to do that with anybody who calls her that she knows. It occurred to me when I was in the police force working with dogs that uh, if we were teaching dogs to search for a hidden person a great way to start them off searching was actually to get the the handler or the owner of the dog to hide. That causes the dog to want to find them. I then thought what a great way of teaching a dog to do a recall, getting the owner to go out of sight. So um, this is what we're going to get demonstrate next. It's a fun game Hannah is going to go and hide from the dog. She's playing, playing with the dog at the minute, getting a good bond with that dog, getting it to want to be with her. And in a second, she's going to go off and hide. Once she's hidden, we're going to release the dog to come and find her. So this is boding well with a good recall, but it's also fun for the dog and it's causing the dog to have to use its nose, its olfactory system, to locate Hannah. So Hannah's teasing the dog with a toy and she's off, causing the dog to want to be with her. And in a second, once Hannah's out of sight, we're going to pretend this is a little police dog scenario. I'm going to put a little challenge in. Hey, you there, Hannah, come out of hiding. We're going to send this dog. This is the police with a lily. Come out, or we're going to send the dog. Lily, find her. 